Good day. So today I'm going to show you how to use score ratios without the calculator. So sometimes you might have been solving a trig equation and they say it's solved without a calculator and then you realize that they gave you angles that were not special angles. So how do you solve angles that are not special angles without the use of a calculator? It's by the use of core ratios. So how do you know you should use core ratios? Whenever we have got two angles that are not special angles, if you see that those two angles add up to 90, then it means you should use the core ratios. So just before we begin, I want you to cram these identities. Just make sure you cram these identities. Cos 90 minus theta is sine theta. Sine 90 minus theta is cos theta, right? So you can just write this down somewhere and just cram it. So let's continue. So we see that 50 plus 40 is 90. So it definitely means that you should use core ratios. So how do we use core ratios? We will change 50 into 90 minus something. So 90 minus what gives you 50? Of course, if 50 plus 40 is 90, it definitely means 90 minus 40 is 50. So it's going to be cos 90 minus 40. So we changed 50 into 90 minus 40. So we didn't change 50. We just changed how it looks like. 90 minus 40 is still 50. And then we have over sine 40. So what do we do here? 90 minus 40 is 50, right? So we, we changed it. Then from here we use the core ratio identity, right? 90 minus theta is it's cos 90 minus theta is sine theta, right? So cos 90 minus 40 is sine 40. So now we have sine 40 over sine 40. This just cancels out and gives you 1. And we're done without a calculator. Let me show you another one. Alright, so here comes the next one. So we're given sine 10 over cos 80. And we have to solve it without the use of a calculator. So how do we solve this stuff? Well, it's quite easy. We see that 10 plus 80 is 90. So we definitely know we have to use core ratios. You can choose to change uh, cos 80 into cos 90 minus 10. Or you can even choose to change sine 10 into cos uh, into sine 90 minus uh, 18 so we can change any I'm gonna do both so that you can see how easy it is so whenever we see core ratios We can change either the top or the bottom. So let me change the top in the first example So let me change the top. So if I change the top, this is gonna be sine 10 is the same as 90 minus 80, right? Make sure that you are able to that it's able to give you 10 back because a mistake that some people make is they will say 90 minus 10 But 90 minus 10 is 80. It doesn't bring you back 10. Make sure you don't change 10 Make sure you change what it looks like 90 minus 80 is still 10 and then this is over Cos 80 so we know sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. So it's gonna be cos 80 so now we have cos 80 over cos 80 See, these are the same, so they cancel out and give you one. Now, let me show you. Just before I continue, if you want to be tutored, either online or physically, online it doesn't matter where you are or which country you are at, you can still be tutored. So, we offer cheap online lessons, and if you want to be tutored physically, we can still make an arrangement. So, call or WhatsApp this number, but preferably, please WhatsApp uh, this number and then we will take it from there so what i do is that i tutor people uh five days a week online and i give tests once a week so that i can check your improvements another one so i just changed the top this time i'm going to change the bottom instead of the top so if i change the bottom it is the same as 90 minus 10 right so it means sine 10 over cos 90 minus 10 then cos 90 minus theta is sine theta so sine 10 over sine 10 this just cancels out and gives you one so it's as simple as that whenever we say that these two numbers add up to 90 you can either change the top or the bottom so that's how you do with this stuff here is another example sine 13 over cos 77 you can even pause the video and attempt it and see if you understand it so let me continue. So we can either change the top or the bottom. Let me change the top. So if I change the top, if you realize, if you look at this, you realize that 13 plus 77 is 90. So we can use core ratios. So now this is the same as sine um, 90 minus 77. So notice 
it still gives me 13 so I didn't change the thing I just changed how it looks like so what do we do here so 90 minus theta is cos theta so it means it's cos 77 then we have over cos 77 so this changes to cos 77 that's what happened then since this is the same it cancels and gives you one let me do that change in the bottom instead of the top this time so if I had I had signed the tin, so let me change the uh, cos 77. Cos 77 is the same as sine 90 minus 13. And then now I just write sine 13 there. Then cos 90 minus theta is sine theta. So cos 90 minus 13 is sine 13. You realize that these two are the same, so they just cancel and they give you 1. So let's apply it to the real deal. Now we've got this stuff. So we're told that we have to solve without the use of a calculator. So 240 is in the fourth quadrant. So in the fourth quadrant is the same as 360. Okay, it's not in the fourth quadrant. What am I saying? It's in the third quadrant. So it's the same as 180 plus 60. And then cos 135 is the same as 180 minus 45 because it's in the second quadrant. Then we use the rule of the second quadrant. Then sine 13 remains like that. And notice it's not a special angle, so we know we'll use core ratios in a way. So we will use it. Sine 45, well, let's just leave it like that. Sine 45. Cos 300, 300 is in the fourth quadrant, so it's the same as 360 minus 60. Then here we've got cos 77. Okay, so from here, 180 plus sine is negative, so it means it's negative sine negative sine 60 and then this is the same as negative cos 60 so negative so negative cos okay cos 45 not cos 60 I got distracted by a message all right so now this is sine 13 this marker is not clear and all the other markers have just stopped working okay so this is sine 45 360 minus 60, cos is uh, positive there, so it's positive cos 60. And then here we've got cos 77. So you can use the calculator for this, right? And write it in fraction form, but I will not use the calculator. So sine 60 is the same as root 3 over 2, so it means this part is um, negative root 3 over 2. So this is going to be what? This is going to be... Okay, my advice is you have to delete the signs first. So we see there's a negative and a negative. So negative times negative is positive. So it means overall this thing is positive. So it means you just put positive outside, right? And then you can, but you don't have to put positive. It's an invisible positive. If the result was negative, you'll put negative outside. Then you'll just write everything else without the sign. So this is just cos 45, sine 13. And then here we've got sine 45, cos 60 cos 77 then we can get the value of this the numerical value so we know sine 60 is square root 3 over 2 cos 45 is 1 over root 2 but the calculator will give you square root 2 over 2 and then this is sine 13 the calculator will give you decimals and it's not a special angle so do not type that in the calculator and then this sine 45 is 1 over root 2 the, without the calculators root 2 over 2 I mean with the calculators root 2 over 2 so it's up to you cos 60 is 1 over 2 and then looking at this part we see that this cancels this cancels and then now we're left with this will cancel or rather not really cancel Okay, to avoid confusions, let me just not deal with this since they're not the same. Let me leave it like that. So it means we're going to be left with square root 3 over 2 times sine 13 all over 1 over 2 times cos 77. And then here we have core ratios. You see, this plus this is 90. So it means uh, square root 3 over 2 times. So sine 13 is the same as sine 90 minus 77. So now I'm using core ratios. Okay, I hope you can at least see something. This thing's not clear. And then cos 77 is the same as... Um, no, we don't change cos 77. I, ch I change the top, so we leave the bottom like that. 
so cos 77 so 90 minus um, 77 so this is the same as cos 77 so it's root 3 over 2 then this is cos 77 then this half then this cos 77 so the 2 cancels out and then now we'll be left with square root 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 if you use the tip and terms method you will eventually get the answer as square root 3 and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and of course any questions you've got in the comment section please comment and uh, i will answer it or if you want me to make a video of something i will